Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can use .NET Watch in your Visual Studio and let's see how it works. I create a new project and let's pick H.NET Core Web Application and the name of the project doesn't matter. And let's go with H.NET Core Web App um, as a default and let's uh, tick for enable eraser runtime compilation and let's create an application so i have a new application here and uh, i can run it using ios and selfast and there's also wsl which i have in my own system you probably don't use it uh, but um, usually you have ios express and selfasting and I prefer self-hosting because it's faster and I can see the logs inside my console. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to add a .NET Watch to this uh, project and run it in uh, .NET Watch mode. So basically .NET Watch watches for any change in your C Sharp files and if you make any change uh, it uh, stops the server builds your project and starts it again uh, in the background automatically so uh, you don't have to worry about restarting your Kestrel server on your own it helps with your workflow and uh, when you want to work with uh, UI and see the change as uh, fast as as you can uh, without much work. Uh, it's a great tool to have, and uh, it's a, a little bit tricky running it in, in Visual Studio. And I am going to show you how you can do this. And so in Visual Studio, there's a properties folder and there's a launch setting.json file that keeps all the launch profiles of your project and usually you have these two is express and a project uh, and if you want to add .NET watch i have already um, made a gist in github that you can use it's already code let's open this uh, line setting that json with the watch in it and let's copy this code and paste it here so now i have another profile let's save it first and now i have another profile uh, which is watch and the command name is executable and, and there is a dotnet exe for executable pass and we are having um, arguments for watch run and everything else is the same so now if i pick this profile and uh, run my application um, without debugging i don't need debugging at the moment so uh, let's do it without debugging and as you can see this time i am seeing a watch started and i am seeing my um, project running and so if I make any change inside my C sharp files, like if I go to my index page and add another property like um, a string of um, a string message and any change and any save I make in here there is an exited file change is not a building process going on and so if i come here and set the message to hello from and uh, .net watch and save it immediately we see the results in our console exited file change detected and started build so if i go to my 
index page and add an h2 with model dot message and i save i can see the result here so um, i didn't do any stop start uh, for my application it happened uh, automatically in the background um, you don't want to use it all the time because it's consume some cpu cycles and memory to watch for all the files change but sometimes when you want to see the results and you're just going back and forth between you, your ui your application it helps with the workflow there's just one less thing you have to care about and it's always a good thing uh, so that's it and this is how you can use dotnet watch in your visual studio and you can go to my uh, github profile and go to my gists and look for that and watch visual studio and copy and paste this code and then you can use it uh, thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe